With the ability to answer questions and generate content in seconds, AI-powered ChatGPT can help users write, explain, and search for just about anything, anytime. The advantages of that is convenience, where users can use on their phone anywhere they want. But I feel that the answers are more catered to uh, different individuals as well. And as, as compared to Google, even though they have a wide variety of answers. ChatGPT's language processing abilities are also proving useful for businesses here. This training provider uses a chatbot to generate content for its website, help write social media posts and script marketing videos. So I think uh, this is definitely a revolutionary technology. Lah. So uh, I believe sooner or later everybody will use it. Okay? Uh, uh, and this technology is still evolving very fast and more powerful uh, uh, chatbot like this will be emerging in, in the next, in this year and the next few years. Developed by San Francisco's OpenAI, the chatbot has drawn global interest and sparked a chat engine race among tech giants. But cybersecurity experts warn that the technology doesn't come without risk. They say its ability to mimic the way humans write can make scams harder to detect. They're being facilitated uh, a lot quicker. Um, sometimes we're seeing that the writing style in the emails, the phishing emails, be a lot better. There's no spelling mistakes, there's no grammar errors. Authorities say phishing scams last year jumped by more than 41% from the year before. The question is, how much more risk chatbots can pose? And on the positive side, it could become more powerful and more useful. And on the other hand, it could also become uh, something that potentially could be abused. So more on the uh, governance, the digital trust of the use of the AI will have to be uh, investigated so that we need to know how to prevent abuse or malicious use of the capability of the AI. It's not just phishing. Experts warn the technology can also be used to write malware code that attacks computer systems. And it's even more important now to exercise good cyber hygiene.